Hi guys, welcome back to ASFC Chemistry. What I'm going to go through with you very briefly just now is the alkane boiling points, what happens when we start to branch or lengthen a carbon chain. Got three different structures here. Got C4H10, so it's just an example of butane there. Got a branch chain structure here, but it has the molecular formula C5H12. And we've also got down here a straight chain, which has exactly the same molecular formula as the one we previously labelled. Now, these are structural isomers of each other. That means that they've got the same molecular formula, but they have different structural formula or different structures. Now, the important thing we're looking at here now is we want to put these into a hierarchy of which one is going to be the hardest to boil, have the highest boiling point, and which one is going to be the easiest to boil, have the lowest boiling point. Now, we can make an early prediction here that this one, unfortunately, is going to have a very low boiling point. Now, the reason for this is because it is a short chain. So this is a shorter chain, and visibly what that gives us is less electrons. And that's because it's going to have a smaller MR. Now, the less electrons comment gets you a mark in an OCRA exam. And then we need to back this up then with some understanding of intermolecular forces that would occur between molecules of C4H10. What we would see then is an impact of weaker London forces. These used to be called Van der Waals, and you still technically can call them that, but we choose to call them London forces at ASFC. Now, what that means is you're going to have weaker London forces since the temporary induced dipole is going to be smaller since there are fewer electrons in the structure. Then we would draw our attention here to the highest boiling point, structure on the page at the moment, which would be the C5H12. Now, this is a zigzag, but it is still classed as a straight chain. We call this a straight chain because it's one continuous sequence of carbon atoms. So it just goes one to two to three to four to five. Compare it to this structure up here then, and we can explain why this one would have a higher boiling point. Now, this one up here, we can see here that this is a branch. And whenever we introduce branching, or a ring structure perhaps, this reduces the surface area contact between molecules of this structure. These molecules, molecules that are a straight chain and other straight chains, have higher points of contact between each other. They have a higher surface area contact. And the more surface area contact you have, the stronger or the more London forces you can generate. Whereas here for this one, you can have a lower surface area contact. So this is going to have weaker London forces. Just going to abbreviate. I hope that clears up any sort of confusion you might have had about um, branching alkanes and how that affects the boiling point. And remember, we are specifically here concentrating on the London forces. Until then, stay tuned to the playlist and happy revising.